While I was playing professional basketball, becoming a financial planner is the last thing I thought I would do after retirement. Somewhere along the line, I sat down with a planner during my career, and it just changed my whole outlook on things. It helped me out tremendously. I was able to retire debt-free and with a little bit of money in the bank. After retirement, I sat down again with another financial planner and I saw a few of the mistakes that I had been making, thinking I knew everything. Well, I thought if I didn't know those things, and I think I'm pretty smart, there's probably a lot of other people out there that need to know this as well. So I started looking around at my family and some of the decisions that they had made for their retirement, some of my basketball sisters and brothers, and I realized that there were a lot of people out there that needed help. Why not me? So here I am today and I'm loving it. I love the education. I love affecting people's lives. I like changing the legacy of people's families. It gives me another purpose after that. It's important for everyone to meet with a licensed professional planner. Whether you're making a lot of money or not so much money, you have to think about the future. It's a changing landscape now for us. The things that were available to our parents won't be there when we retire. You have to have someone there helping you maneuver and making sure that in retirement, you retire to the beach somewhere, not retire to rehire after working 30 or 40 years. Most experts say buy term, invest the rest. And that can be a confusing as well. And then you have a slew of whole life policies. You got universal life, you got variable life, you got, I don't know, it's just like they have these fancy, fancy policies, but basically it's all the same. I'm a proponent of buy term, invest the rest because life insurance is not an investment. It's just what it says it is. It's life insurance. If something happens to you, you make sure your family is protected. But we're gonna need cash when we retire. Not cash we have to borrow from ourselves, cash that we can actually write a check for, regardless of the circumstances. So if you're properly protected while you're building your cash flow, when you get to retirement, you might not even need life insurance because your family can just write a check. Is there a such thing as overinsured and underinsured? Yes, there is. You're underinsured if your policy doesn't take care of all of your debt if something happens to you and leave something over for your spouse for childcare um, and other miscellaneous items. You're overinsured if the majority of your money is going into your life insurance and you don't have enough going into your retirement planning. We're living longer and cash is king. So your focus should be protecting your family until you build enough cash to take care of them in retirement.